around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car. Get in! Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Okay, I need to get dressed now.
think I'll be moshing today. Chloe doesn't seem too upset she didn't take that money from the handicapped fund. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. I love this song. Can I check out the news on this old laptop? Oh, at least we haven't been identified yet. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly, we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. Hello, stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Hey, lazy ass, put some clothes on. Then we can scarf the awesome breakfast Joyce is cooking up. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole.
Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I am so going to best unfriend you for that. I love that Chloe is so fearless. Okay. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Okay. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I am so going to best unfriend you for that. I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Or do they? I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning.
Check out Mad Max. <laughs> Ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. It feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine and hiding. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. This might be the one time these people are right. Looks like a message. David, this is Officer Korn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Message 
deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Oh, look at the poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Sitting in a swing always feels so comforting. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. I wonder how these birds died. <laughs> 